What if I told you that Africa just shocked US engineers with a car that literally powers itself using nothing but radio waves from the air around us? A vehicle that never needs charging, never runs out of fuel, and can power your entire house just by parking in your driveway. This is the story of Africa's self-powered car, and in this video, you'll understand why the trillion-dollar oil industry is terrified of this invention. Picture this. Radio waves are constantly bombarding you right now from cell towers, Wi-Fi signals, AM and FM radio, television broadcasts, satellite communications. The air around you is absolutely saturated with electromagnetic energy that we've never been able to harness effectively. But right now, Africa has developed the world's first self-powered vehicles that run entirely on these radio frequencies. And the story of how this came to be will blow your mind. The man who created this breakthrough is Maxwell Chikambutso, a high school dropout from Zimbabwe who has carved out a narrative of resilience, innovation, and defiance. We saw a very interesting uh, technological thing that you have been offering here, but many people are still in doubt. What is the source and how reliable is this and is this going to be able to sustain for years? I think you've seen like the guys who came from Israel, we've got guys who came from Switzerland. These are the guys I've been working with for years. They have tested it. Born in 1980 in the high-density suburb of Budiadero, Harari, Maxwell faced financial hardships that forced him out of school at just 14 years old. Yet his story is not one of limitations but of boundless possibility, fueled by an innate brilliance and an unrelenting curiosity for engineering. Maxwell's journey into the realm of innovation began in the late 1990s, where he crafted gadgets from scrap materials including a radio transmitter, digital navigator, and turbine engine. His passion was self-talk, driven by a belief in his God-given abilities and the visions he claimed to receive at night. It was in 2009 that Maxwell's focus shifted to green energy, leading to his groundbreaking development of the microsonic energy technology. The car at the center of this revolution is called the Qi Scythe, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen. Imagine a vehicle distinctly different from Tesla or traditional internal combustion engine cars that run on gasoline. This isn't just transportation, it's a moving generator. With this car, you're not just looking at a vehicle, but a power source for your house. When driving from work back to your home, you can connect your power cable, allowing you to power your house. It provides 15 kilowatts of power to supply your home. This car promises an unlimited driving range, top speeds of up to 220 kilometers per hour, and the ability to serve as a power source for your home, all without ever needing a charge. The vehicle, developed in collaboration with the Chinese automaker Kaiyi, not only addresses range anxiety but also offers an alternative energy source during emergencies when power outages are common, particularly in regions with unstable electricity grids. The vehicle, it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. A microsonic energy device, it is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009 which harness radio frequencies converted into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing, but we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of uh, the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I have tailor-made, which I've designed. The technology behind this self-powered car represents an innovative leap into the realm of energy harvesting. This technology claims to convert radio waves, which are omnipresent in our environment, into usable electrical energy. The concept has ignited a mix of fascination and skepticism within the scientific community and beyond due to its potential implications for energy sustainability and its challenging nature against established physical principles. Maxwell's technology is centered around what he refers to as the microsonic energy device. This device is said to harness the energy from radio frequencies, which are measured in nanovolts, a minuscule amount of energy. According to claims, the device uses proprietary methods to capture these radio waves and convert them into direct current electricity, which can then be used to power everything from homes to vehicles. The technology aims to tap into the background energy present from astronomical bodies like the sun, earth, and moon through what is described as ambient sonic energy or longitudinal waves. One of the most compelling aspects of this technology is its promise of energy independence, particularly for regions with limited access to traditional power grids. The idea that vehicles or homes could power themselves using radio waves, which are abundant and free, could drastically alter energy consumption patterns globally. 
the implications of Africa's self-powered car are staggering. By potentially reducing or eliminating the need for fossil fuels or even traditional renewable energy sources like solar or wind, Microsotic Energy could contribute significantly to reducing carbon emissions, aligning with global efforts towards sustainability and combating climate change. The technology has Bayan demonstrated in various settings, including showcasing a car and motorcycle that supposedly run without the need for charging, powered solely by radio frequencies. Such demonstrations have caught the attention of media, governments, and inventors worldwide, pushing the boundaries of what's considered possible in energy technology. But Maxwell's journey has not been without peril. He faced significant opposition, including being poisoned in the U.S., an attack that resulted in the death of his business partner in January 2017. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Ted didn't make it, he died in January 2017. I, by the grace of God, Maxwell recalls. Yeah. yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Yeah. So it's not an industrial applicable. We decided to take the trade secret route after that. Despite threats to his life, he remained resolute, motivated by a belief in his vision and the backing of Zimbabwe's leadership, which encouraged him to continue his work in his homeland. However, the fundamental challenge lies in the laws of physics, particularly thermodynamics. The energy in radio waves is incredibly low, and the efficiency of converting this energy into usable electricity on a significant scale is questioned by many in the scientific community. Current technology for radio frequency energy harvesting is limited to powering very small low energy devices. There is a notable absence of peer reviewed studies or independent validations of the technology's claims. While some reports mention validations by researchers associated with the inventor, these have not been widely accepted or replicated by other scientific institutions. Maxwell has noted difficulty in patenting his invention due to its unconventional nature, leading to reliance on trade secrets rather than public documentation, which adds to the skepticism surrounding the Kang Graham technology. The official launch of these microsonic energy-powered vehicles and motorbikes was set for February 10, 2025, with the support of Zimbabwe's president, highlighting a moment of national national pride and technological progress. This event was not only about unveiling new vehicles, it was about demonstrating Zimbabwe's potential to lead in global innovation, particularly in sustainable technology. Posts on platforms like social media reflect a divided opinion, with some users expressing amazement and others questioning the scientific feasibility of such quang. This public discourse underscores both the intrigue and the skepticism that microsonic energy has garnered. Africa's self-powered car technology stands at the intersection of innovation and skepticism. While it offers a tantalizing glimpse into a future of free and sustainable energy, the scientific community calls for rigorous testing and validation to substantiate its claims. If proven effective, it could revolutionize how we think about and harness energy. But until then, it remains a technology watched with cautious optimism. The journey of this technology from concept to widespread application, if it happens, will likely be one of the most scrutinized in the history of energy innovation. History reminds us of figures like Nikola Tesla, whose once ridiculed ideas are now foundational. Maxwell's claim of capturing ambient radio frequencies to power devices is a bold step into a future where energy could be harnessed from the air around us. Beyond automotive innovation, Maxwell has introduced a self-powered television that operates without external power sources and a green power off-grid machine capable of generating half a megawatt of castre electricity. These inventions aim to bring clean energy solutions to areas without traditional power grids, potentially revolutionizing energy access in Africa and beyond. However, Maxwell's path has by and fraught with challenges. Not only has he faced scientific skepticism, but he has also survived assassination attempts, including a poisoning incident that led to the death of his business partner. This adversity underscores the resistance from powerful industries whose business models might be threatened by such disruptive technology. Additionally, Maxwell has struggled to secure patents for his inventions, with many institutions dismissing them as violating physical laws. Despite these obstacles, Maxwell's work has received official support from Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Menengagwa, setting the stage for a significant launch that could be a turning point not just for Maxwell but for Zimbabwe's place on the global technological stage. This support embodies the spirit of self-determination and innovation that African leaders like Captain Ibrahim Traoré of Burkina Faso have advocated. Maxwell's story is a testament to the power of vision over adversity. 
His inventions, if proven and scaled, could disrupt not only the automotive and energy sectors, but also inspire a new generation of African innovators, proving that even those dismissed by the world can N-S change it. The story of Africa's self-powered car illustrates a potential future where Africa leads in technological innovation, harnessing its intellectual resources to solve global challenges with local solutions. For a continent where millions lack access to reliable electricity, this technology could be transformative. Rural communities could have unlimited power without expensive grid infrastructure. Off-grid areas could suddenly access modern conveniences. As we watch this story unfold, it's clear that Maxwell isn't just building gadgets, he's building hope and redefining what's possible. Africa's self-powered car represents more than just a new vehicle. It represents a fundamental challenge to how we think about energy, innovation, and possibility. Whether this technology works exactly as claimed or not, it's forcing conversations about energy independence, technological sovereignty, and the future of transportation. If this technology is real, everything changes. Your electricity bill becomes zero. Gas stations become museums. The geopolitics of energy, wars fought over oil, nations held hostage by energy dependence, all of it becomes irrelevant. But even if the technology doesn't work as claimed, the story teaches us something important about innovation, determination, and the refusal to accept limitations. The next world-changing breakthrough might not come from where you expect. It might not come from someone with the right credentials or the right background. It might come from a high school dropout from Zimbabwe, who refused to accept that his circumstances defined his possibilities. So, what do you think? Is Africa's self-powered car about to usher in a new age of unlimited clean energy? Or are we watching one of the most elaborate technological demonstrations in history? Whether you believe in the technology or not, one thing is certain. Africa's self-powered car and the remarkable mind behind it have changed the conversation about where innovation comes from and who can change the world. The revolution might just be getting started.